It was an hour and eight minutes, I oh. think, was the, the final count. And I think the most important thing that happened last night refers to you saying is amped up. We're now talking about Joe Biden as too fiery, right, as too aggressive. And yesterday we were talking about Joe Biden can't find his pants. Joe Biden has dementia. Joe Biden is too old for this job. And that's how I know that it went really well. That's Fox News commentator and professional useless person Jessica Tarloff saying that Joe Biden's State of the Union address was good because attacks on him have shifted from memory loss to being temperamental. Sounds like a strong argument to me. Welcome to NERC News, I'm Nurkish. Today we're going to take a few minutes to watch a Democrat mouthpiece continue to show for Grandpa Simpson. Let's take a look. And you also know that it went well because last night Joe Biden's campaign smashed three fundraising records at 9 o'clock, at 10 o'clock, and at 11 o'clock. And CNN did a poll of State of the Union watchers. 64% had a positive view of it. 62% said that Biden's policies will move the U.S. in a positive direction. And that's something that he was really struggling with. Trump was way ahead on that. That was up 17 points from before the speech uh, began. Starting with... Ukraine also surprised me, and it felt as if he probably wanted to start with talking about attacks on democracy at home, and they thought, let's contextualize this more broadly, right, to talk about democracies that are under attack and also to put Republicans on the back foot. But they clearly are paying attention to their internal polling and the conversations that Americans are having about how important the everyday bread and butter issues are. Yep, that's right. He focused on things everyday Americans are always talking about. That's why he started with the war in Ukraine and attacks on democracy. You know how much we all love sitting around the kitchen table and talking about that. I don't know about you guys, but there's nothing I find more personally rewarding than coming home after spending a third of my income on groceries to talk about things no one cares about. But to be fair, Jessica might have a point. I mean, a CNN poll of people stuck in airports said they liked it, and he raised more money from the elite establishment class. Who saw that one coming? And let's not forget... He's viewed as temperamental now instead of confused, which is definitely not something people in cognitive decline also exhibit. You know, call me crazy, but this sounds like a pretty low bar for expectations from the Democrats here. And Jessica's co-hosts were quick to call her out on it. You know, he did better than the very lowest standard possible, his own competence. He's grading on the curve of his own abysmal performances. It's kind of like being relieved that your car starts in the morning when it didn't start for a year. But to have one of the, the assessments that was a celebration to say he showed he still has a pulse. I mean, that suggests that there was a very weird standard for last night. Democrats are really concerned about this. It, the age issue was not partisan. It was across the board. And it has been the main storyline for the last three to four weeks of coverage. So will every day look like that? Absolutely not. He's going to have some stumbles. He's going to have some Joe Biden moments. But he needed that. And we needed that. Well, at least she's right there. It's not likely that we'll see that version of Biden every day on the campaign trail. Drugs do wear off, after all. I mean, here he is the night after the State of the Union in Pennsylvania. In Pennsylvania, I have a message for you. Send me to Congress that I can support this right. And I promise you, if we take back Congress, we, we will restore Roe v. Wade as the law of the land. Last night, in the U.S. Capitol, the same building where our freedoms came under assault on July the 6th. And I've gone now, I spent over almost 200 hours with the leaders of Europe, the heads of state. I know them all. I've known them well. And guess what? You know what every one of them says to me virtually except Orban? I'm serious. As we leave these meetings, well, indirectly, they grab my arm and they pull me aside. I'm serious. They pull me aside and say, You've got to, he can't win again. We cut the deficit. And we added more to the national debt than any president in his term in all of history and under Donald Trump. That's not good. Looks like he went from Abe Simpson to Mr. Magoo real quick. But I think I understood what he's saying. It's that if you're an American who doesn't want another July 6th, you should vote to send him to Congress so he can add more to the national debt than any president in history because he can't win again. A am I right? Did I get that right? I don't speak geriatric lunatic. But let me know what you think. Should we celebrate Screaming Joe over Sleepy Joe? How long do you think he could keep this up on the campaign trail? 
Let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. That stuff really does help us out. Until then, this has been Nerk News. Thanks for watching. Boy!